Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, and King Dia. And this is Joe from Seattle of JoeFromSeattle.org, author of Joe from Seattle, and also frontman of Curbside Anthem. I mean, if he's self-promoting the first sentence, I'll do it too. The PC Gamers. Boy, the PC Gamers constantly be blowing themselves out. Uh, I can make a sex joke here, but it seems uncalled for this early. Stay tuned. This is something I've talked about extensively at length uh, several times now. Extensively at length several times. So me and the wife every Tuesday. So me and the wife every Wednesday. So me and the wife. Just just talking a lot of shit about PC gamers and like uh, the current state of PC gaming. Yeah, that's usually where I come in. I know I've said once or twice that I was done responding to this guy, but damn it if he doesn't give me easy content every couple months. And now, um... <sighs> It really has gotten a little bit worse. Uh, it really does feel like uh, PC gamers are starting to realize that their platform of choice isn't interesting, it isn't innovative, it isn't new, it isn't fresh or exciting, so... First of all, please stop smacking the plastic table you're recording from, it's getting really distracting. Second of all, why is half of your house missing? Like, I can hear every raindrop within a mile radius because of the fucking holes in your wall. Third of all, what do you want about the PC platform isn't innovative or exciting? The PC is the only platform pushing gaming forward right now. The PS5 and Xbox Series X released with graphics equivalent to an upper mid-tier, maybe lower high-tier gaming PC. And remember that they're going to sit there for the next eight years or so, while the PC market is going to keep moving forward. That's also only talking about graphics tech. The consoles still can't get above 120 FPS, and most games still don't get above 60. And that doesn't sound very innovative or exciting. So from a technical standpoint, the PC has every possible edge. So let's talk about games then. The PC has virtually every console game from every generation, but better due to improved performance and or mods. So the game category is a wash. What else is there? As a result of that, their primary response to everything is that, oh, uh, Bayonetta 3, it's been, uh, it's been leaked for a PC release. Uh, well, the first Bayonetta was on PC, so it makes sense that they'd come back to it. Bayonetta 2 was a Wii U exclusive and heavily suffered in the sales department because of that. Just from a business standpoint, it makes total sense to put the series back on PC with Bayonetta 3. Also, NVIDIA confirmed that the leak was actually real, which is slightly hilarious. In before, but they said some of the titles were speculative. There's no logical reason for real games and speculative games to be present in the code of a public software. Like, that's just not how this works. Also, within days of the list leaking, a handful of the games were confirmed by the publishers, and that trend is just gonna continue going forward. Bayonetta 3's producer even made a Twitter thread after the leak came out, reassuring people that it's not coming to Xbox or PlayStation, but he conveniently didn't mention the PC, which is the platform that it leaked on. I'm not confident in saying Bayo 3 is gonna be coming to PC, but all the signs are pointing that way right now. Monster Hunter Rise, that'll come to PC. Still hasn't happened. Uh. Yeah, no two ways about this one. Monster Hunter Rise is coming to PC. Like, 100% that's happening. Um, all these third-party games, uh, they'll be all, they'll all have their definitive versions on PC, and for the, uh, for the Nintendo games, we can just, we can just emulate those. Those, those aren't a big deal. I mean, yeah. Nintendo emulators are easy as balls to emulate, so if they don't put the game on PC, why wouldn't I just buy a copy to support the devs and then emulate it? And as for the third-party thing, yeah, the definitive version is going to be on PC, every time. Give me one game that was on console and PC, and the best version wasn't on PC. Not only is none of that true, it's, uh, the lies are really piling up and becoming more and more and more absurd. You would know a lot about absurd lies, huh? This is the same dude that said The Witcher 3 on Switch and PC looked the same. And ridiculous. <laughs> like, we, we are getting to the point where uh, people are... Well, people have been doing this for years, but I'm seeing it more and more. I will say, to Harmon Smith's credit, for a dude who goes without a script, he doesn't have nearly as much dead air in his videos as some other people I've responded to recently. So thank you for making my job easier. We are getting to the point where people are straight up saying that games are running perfectly fine on emulators, when they're not. I mean, I've never had issues with the Dolphin emulator. 
or whatever GBA emulator I used to have. It was a long time ago. I forget the exact one I used. I mean, I've had melee footage in the background of my videos for a long time, and that's not just the emulated version. That's the modded slippy version. So I was playing Melee online with better performance in-game and on network than anything Nintendo has ever officially released. Also, massive irony alert for you trying to talk smack about emulation, but it was just a year ago that Nintendo tried to sell you inferior emulation. How soon we forget about Mario 3D All-Stars. Like, I was seeing people saying that, like, Origami King was up and running right away. I don't know about right away, but it's certainly playable. I was seeing people say that, saying they were playing Three Houses, that they were playing, like, Odyssey, that they were playing Breath of the Wild. I can personally confirm that Odyssey and Breath of the Wild work on emulators, yes. Uh, they, they kind of exclude all the steps necessary to get it to happen. Like, the, the, the PC rig they need to have, the specific emulator, like, the donations you have to spend on that emulator. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, donations you have to spend is an oxymoron. Donations aren't required for anything, otherwise they wouldn't be donations. Also, going back to the whole, the kind of rig you have, I mean, Nintendo games aren't hard to run. And then the comment about knowing which emulator to get, like, just Google it, it's not hard. That's kind of the beauty of Nintendo hardware being so underpowered compared to the competition. It's really not hard to get Nintendo games running on weak computers. Like, um, having to pirate and download the game to begin with, like... Emulation isn't piracy. Please shut your face. You have to jump through all of these hoops in order to get a game that might run on PC. You download the emulator, you get the ROM, you play. Like, on paper, it's no different than getting a game off Steam. Might, and that is a big might, because, uh... My 2014 Chromebook could run Nintendo emulators. Please shut your face. Uh, it's bizarre, the weird kind of admissions that, pe that these people will kind of, uh, will kind of acknowledge. None of these are omissions. They're just you getting things wrong and then getting upset when people correct you. If you're like going through a lot of these discussions and conversations, uh, for example, yes, 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 give examples, yes, 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 yes. Like, um, N64 games are coming to PC. Wait, they're coming? They've been here for like ever. What happened? The PC gamers tried to say they can just emulate all of them. But as it so happens, uh, a lot of people were talking, like, uh, I, I really, <laughs> a lot of people were admitting that, like, you know, a lot of these games, a lot of these N64 emulators, still, even in 2021, don't run all that well. Yeah, some of them don't. That's why you just look up the best one, or experiment with a few different ones to see which one you like best. And I know that kind of goes back to what he said about, oh, oh, grumble, grumble, you have to look into what emulator to use. But, like, this is such a minuscule problem when it does happen. Like, I've never really had to emulate a shop like he's describing, but let's just take a step back here. Let's say you want to emulate Nintendo games on PC. You might have to try a couple different ones to get the one you want. Meanwhile, if you want to play old Nintendo games on the current Nintendo console, what options do you have? If Nintendo doesn't re-release the game and make you buy it again, do you have any options for playing old Nintendo games on modern Nintendo hardware? No matter how you look at it, Nintendo games are just better on PC. They're not like optimized for certain games. They don't. They don't run. Like they. Uh, they have issues. They have slowdown. They crash occasionally. Literally everything you just said applies to Nintendo games running on Nintendo hardware as well. Also, just because the game isn't optimized for PC doesn't mean it doesn't run well. GameCube games were not optimized to run on the Dolphin emulator, but boy oh boy, do they run better there. Optimization is a term that most people don't really understand anymore. There's a big difference between a game being poorly optimized and a game just not being optimized for a certain platform. And even then, optimization isn't the be-all end-all of how well a game runs. There are way more moving parts than that. A lot of console games are optimized perfectly well and run like complete ass because the hardware is garbage. Then you have things like emulators, where you're taking games that weren't optimized for PC at all, and they're still running better than the console counterparts. TLDR, don't use the word optimization in an argument unless you actually know what it means. Uh, frame rate drops, like... Also, don't talk about frame drops unless you're playing with more than 30 of them. There are a lot of problems that these games have... Uh, excuse me, I need to live. Yeah, no, just leave this in the video. It's fine. No need to cut this. I just, I don't get it anymore. Sorry, I'm in my home gym at the moment. I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I'm actually lifting. So, I no longer think this is a genuine channel. Like, this is a parody channel. You can't convince me otherwise. 
the PC gamers. Yes, we're listening. Are at this moment, every time a new Nintendo Direct drops, they try to make excuses and justify why PC gaming is their preferred platform. Like, oh, that's getting a PC release. Uh, that'll be ported, that'll be emulated, like... I mean, are you not justifying your platform of choice too? Also, PC gamers pointing out that a game is going to be available on PC isn't us justifying our platform. We're watching a Nintendo presentation, and Nintendo keeps showing off games that we can play on our platform. So, yes, we're not gonna buy a Nintendo console. This isn't hard to grasp. They just keep making shit up. <laughs> Nothing you've said is something we've made up. And, uh, more and more, I think, it's going to be difficult to continue. Uh, it's going to continue to be difficult to do this. Like already with Wii games, you kind of struggle with like uh, with putting in the motion control sensors and things like that. Like, uh, do we? I remember using Wii remotes on my friend's laptop back in eighth grade, and I'm 24. That problem is only going to continue with games like Star Fox Zero and Arms. Oh no, I can't play the worst Star Fox game. Games that heavily rely on. Uh, on um, motion control technology to work. Uh, These games are made better by not using motion controls. Also, if the quality of the games is dependent on the motion control is working properly, Nintendo needs to get their shit together. Star Fox Zero, I have confirmation, uh, is still not emulated uh, five years later. To the fact check mobile. You're wrong. You're completely wrong. I don't know what your source is, but you might want to get a new one. Preferably one with internet access. Like, you can make all the excuses you want that like, oh man, uh, people just don't want to play Star Fox Zero, but- Let's be real, most people don't want to play Star Fox Zero. The reality is that, is just that like, you don't have every game on the Wii U library. You don't have every game on the Nintendo library. Okay, do you? Like, which has a bigger library of Nintendo games, the Switch or the PC? Also, just in case you wanted more evidence of what I was talking about with optimization and whatnot, Star Fox Zero is a Wii U exclusive game, and it's running at 4K60 on Simu. Game's shit, but it looks real pretty. And, and now, what we're seeing with the Switch is that they, there are so many If you're a subscriber to the Nintendo Switch Online, right? If you, um, if you have access to these games, you can just Hit, the, hit a button and like, oh, download, like, uh, not, not even download, like, they're already there. Like, if you download the app for N64, like, you get Ocarina, you get Super Mario 64, you get Win Back, you get Mario Tennis, you get Sin and Punishment? Awesome. We've had those forever. Also, at the time of my video's recording, the N64 Switch app you're talking about has a whopping 16 games, and you have to pay extra for them. They're not even included with your membership. And the service isn't even out yet, so... Truly, what is your point? Like, all this crazy shit that you might not have even heard of, right, on emulators. Yes, charge me extra for stuff I've never had instead of me downloading what I want for free on PC. This is what we in the business call a hard sell. Um, at, right there, with a press of a button, really quick interface, really engaging, uh, the games as they were originally released. Fully functional, um, online play, I think, is confirmed. Which is genuinely cool, I'll give them that. But also, emulators have had online play for years now. Super Smash Bros. Melee has full-fledged matchmaking through the Slippy Project. Like, not only is Nintendo just now catching up to what emulators have been capable of for five years or more, but they're charging you extra for it. Uh, like, the definitive version of the game, these games are on Nintendo hardware. Again, Star Fox Zero running at 4K60. Like, you're just wrong. Nintendo doesn't give a shit about technical performance, and honestly, that doesn't even bother me that much. I respect that Nintendo is all about gameplay first, but when people like you try to talk about how amazing their games run, or how they can give you the definitive version of the game, you're just fucking wrong. I can respect Nintendo sticking to their guns and putting out the games they want, but don't be surprised when emulators one-up you. Because frankly, it's not difficult to do so, and there's no reason not to do it. You are simulating that experience on PC, assuming you get these games at all. No, we're surpassing that experience on PC, in every sense of the word. And uh, the more you uh, struggle and deny it, like, the more people like me are going to continue making fun of you. Ooh, glass houses. Because you people are downright delusional. Ooh, glass mansions. PC gaming cannot compete with Nintendo in 2021 or in the future. PC gaming will continue to decline, and uh, companies like Valve and Epic are going to continue to rely 
increasingly on consoles and especially smartphones to continue generating what revenue. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about either. Don't think too hard about it. Uh, Blizzard is going downhill. Activision is going downhill. Well, they're, they're the same company. Sega, Konami, Capcom, Square Enix. Like, what are you looking forward to? I mean, the new Lego Star Wars is the first thing that comes to mind. My fiance's gonna fucking hate me when that game comes out. Hey, honey, can you walk the dog? No, sorry, I'm playing with my fucking Legos. Halo Infinite is also intriguing. Not really excited for that one, but definitely intrigued. Also still waiting on Six Days in Fallujah. That's another one that could be kind of a dumpster fire, but also it could take us by surprise. I've been keeping my eye on that one. Shadow Warrior 3 is also allegedly coming this year, but I have my doubts. Those are the main games I'm looking forward to, at least. Honestly, I kind of forget what he said last. I was just rambling about games I want to play. Like, since Cyberpunk 2077, it feels like you people have been in, like, a death spiral and just don't want to admit it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The people most upset about Cyberpunk were the people who weren't gonna play it regardless. Like, let's be real. Cyberpunk was a mess and it never should be forgotten, but the people still bitching about it are the people who weren't gonna play it in the first place. You're, you are an old man at the end of his life who just doesn't want to acknowledge that he spent his life, um, you know, ruining, ruining his family and just ruining his entire... Uh, just lived a bad existence, like just had a bad existence, and that he's going to hell because he has no idea, he had no idea what he was doing. The absolute irony of you saying all this in defense of Nintendo. What he was missing out on, what, what the value of living actually is, that's the PC gaming community. No, that's almost literally modern Nintendo. You don't know what makes console superior. Maybe you could tell us? Because you haven't done that yet. And as a result of that, you have no idea what it means to be a gamer. Yeah, because being a gamer means talking shit about everything you don't like, apparently. I thought it just meant playing games and maybe advocating for better practices in the industry. Second part's optional, really. You know, do whatever you want, say whatever you want, I don't care. Just don't be surprised if people criticize you for saying dumb shit. Anyways, that was a trip. I don't know how long the video is at this point, because I'd watch the video and record the commentary as one big thing before cutting out all the dead space and... I just have a gut feeling this was a longer one. Or maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Whatever. Follow me on Twitter, check out Curbside Anthem, donate with the link in the description if you want. All that jazz. Uh, goddamn, that one took it out of me. I'm gonna go play video games. Toodles.